Oh, yeah. Right down. Oh, hey, boys. What is that, about 300, 320, if I'm talking conservatively? 300? You must be kidding me. I mean, the wind was in my face, so maybe... You want to see what 300 looks like? Show it to him, Rick. Now that's what 300 looks like. You couldn't hit it 250 downhill on ice. So together, we're like 540. Yeah, maybe we should go help him out. Yeah, no kidding. Guys! Oh, guys! Guys! You know, Ricky, you have experience of hitting the ball not only long, but accurate. You're one of the leaders in the category of overall driving, which is length and accuracy. What are some of the keys you use when you really need to step up and hit one and catch a little more yardage? If I'm gonna try and get one out there a little further, I'd say one of the first things at setup I think about is, is just a little wider stance. Because it drops your spine a little behind the ball to start with. Yeah, you're able to, like you said, kind of behind the ball, really load into the right side, and then you're able to drive from there. The second one being is, is the takeaway, just making sure I'm deliberate, a little slower, which will in turn probably be about normal speed uh, when you're trying to hit one harder. I like that thought because when you're thinking about hitting one hard, the average person gets fast going back, slow coming down. So if you can be a little more deliberate with that takeaway, it lets you get that good wind up, doesn't it? Good wind up, you stay in rhythm, so then you can go ahead and deliver the club properly from there. So the last thing, once I've got it in a good position at the top, I was really feeling like when we talk about kind of shaking the right hand, making sure I get through the ball, release the club, and send it. I like it. Let's send one. See? That's how it's done. Well, fellas, I'm mad enough to admit when I was wrong. Ricky, nice shot. Yeah. Hey,